Congressman Jerry Lewis, Senator Dianne Feinstein, Senator John McCain, Senator Edward Kennedy, the Kennedy clan, President Bush. My name is Raymond Herrera. I am an American-born citizen. I was raised and educated in the city and schools of Chino, California. My father is a World War II hero, Bronze Star. My brother and I both served in the jungles in Vietnam. We fought as infantrymen. I returned to America and became a carpenter. I've always been an upstanding American citizen. I have seven children. I am a victim of the aforementioned politicians, leaders, amnesty programs. I framed this house just about. I was hired by a white American contractor to frame this house. I have 35 years experience as a carpenter. I also hold the general contractor's license. I have a 22-year-old son named Ryan Herrera, and I have an apprentice named Paul Sintorpi. We came out here Thursday morning at 9 o'clock and worked until 5 to frame this house. We returned Friday and worked until 3. In the short time that we were here, the white contractor, right from the start, kept mentioning his Mexican crew. His Mex Mexican crew can frame this house faster. This Mexican crew can, you know, do this. I must have heard it ten times. Well, Friday when he came out here, he came out here and told me that his Mexican crew is going to finish this house up. He told me, my son, and my apprentice to go to hell. We're no longer needed here. I stand on American soil in front of an American job site with an American family who wants to live the American dream, who has been cheated out of the American dream by white contractors such as Jeff Mays and amnesty programs of the aforementioned American leaders. And by the way, we're getting ready for another amnesty program. Amnesty is the condemnation of the American blue-collar worker, white-collar workers, skilled and unskilled workers. We are being sold out by our inept leaders. Let me show you an example of America. The America my father fought to preserve, my brother and I, and all Americans fought to preserve. Let me show you what happens to the American bounty when people like John McCain and Edward Kennedy want amnesty programs to give the America's bounty away to third world peasants. I have no rights in America, even though I've sacrificed, just like all the rest of us, all true Americans. Come into my job site. Let me show you an American tragedy. If you span this whole house and you look through all the walls, there's a lot of work that was done here by me and my son. My son's 22 years old. He wasn't able to go to schools because of illegal immigration and amnesty programs. His father was run off of jobs by illegal aliens and their white contractors. I couldn't buy them shoes and buy them clothes to go to school as Americans. They never went to school. At the age of 11, I had to bring them out onto the job sites to give them a trade. Now that they're 20, I bring them out to the job site and still it's the American contractor and his illegal aliens and his amnesty programs that have now told my son that he too cannot earn a living in America as an American tradesman. By the way, my son nailed every nail in this house. He's only 21 years old. He's got skills and he's American born and his parents have paid the price to be an American. We were fired Friday. This house paid $1,300 to frame. The white contractor offered me $380 on a personal check without even putting my name on that check. He didn't pay taxes. He didn't pay SSI. He didn't pay workman's cop. He used a personal check, just like he does when he's paying all these illegal aliens. He doesn't do the proper paperwork. He doesn't do 
the proper things in America, and that is to hire Americans and pay taxes so they can pay taxes so that we can have a stronger America. No, he's in it for himself. He's in it to hire illegal aliens and, and to get the most money and the most workers for his money, even though it's the sub-American wage, the substandard. I'm unemployed. My son's unemployed. My apprentice is unemployed. Our fathers fought for this country. Our senators, such as Senator John McCain, made a statement that we can't deport 11 million illegal aliens. It's impossible. Ronald Reagan, the great communicator, says we'll make them all citizens. Then we won't have a problem. Bill Clinton made them citizens, all for the name, all in the name of votes. But what about America's inner core? What about the American warrior? What about the American tradesman? What about their children? My father didn't spin his wheels or anybody else, any other war veteran, land on the beaches for third world peasants to come here and take away our livelihood, the American dream. He sent this fox and his insurgents are overrunning us and they have the, the help of white contractors and bleeding Americans who's or crying racism. This contractor told me ten times about his white, his Mexican crew, his Mexican crew, his Mexican crew. Then he fired me because of his Mexican crew. I feel very well discriminated in America. I feel that I've earned the right to make a living in America. I feel that my father and veterans like him have given me the privilege to earn the American dream. All I get is welfare. All I get is you statements that I'm a crybaby, but I'm not. I'm an American-born citizen with American skills and American trade and American educated, and I can't make a living in America. Help me, America. Don't let them have amnesty talks and committees in Washington, D.C. They're giving us away. They're giving our livelihoods away. We're not giving the White House away. We're not giving Hyannisport away. We're not giving Arizona you know, away where Senator McCain's house is at. You're giving my house away. They're giving your house away. They're giving our children's future away. I'm not a racist. I'm an American.